Hello everybody and welcome. This is Ginge from Next Level Gamers and I'm here to talk to you about some redstone components. Um, these will try and help you in your redstone in world and make life a lot easier for you. Um, you know, they're just trying to help you and make tasks seem a little easier. Um, if you do struggle to keep up, um, just comment in the description and I'll try to help you out. Right. First off, we have a T flip flop, and uh, basically what this does, it turns a button and makes it into a complete on or off charge like a lever instead of a pulse. So to do this, what you do, you get your two pistons facing inwards, two blocks apart. You dig down, place a torch on the bottom, um, make sure it's on the bottom and not on the sides there. A block, uh, two blocks on top of that, so it makes a sort of T shape. Get your torch, don't place it there, um, you place it on the sides above the pistons, you can see one's powered. Right, you put a block there, and you go up and get your redstone, you run it along the top, linking the two torches, and then run that down uh, to your button. On the other side, um, you have your redstone by your torch, and then that will go off and power whatever you need. So, if I just press the button here. You'll see it um, briefly turns off the torches there, um, and then what happens is it powers again, and the one that's the piston that's uh, depowered powers first. I don't know why. Um, it pushes the block over, and it's on the torch, so it becomes powered. So then that powers the redstone, which powers whatever you need. So then uh, it works the same again for turning it off. Again, just pushes the block over so um, it's actually not on top of the torch, and then the redstone can't be powered. You could also link up some other buttons here, and you know you could do them in any sequence. So um, yeah, this is the one that I use the most, and I really like it. I love you. <laughs> Next is a pulse limiter. Now what this does, um, it takes a pulse and thins it, or I'm going to say. Right, it takes a pulse, thins it, or it can make a lever uh, do a pulse. So what you do, it goes block, torch, block. You get a block in the direction you want. A uh, block on the floor there, so it uh, looks like a little staircase. Um, you get your repeater, place it in the middle there, and make sure it's on three ticks. I'll explain why later. Torch on the end, and run your redstone on the top, so the torch is depowered. And that's basically it. So, um, and I'll just show you what a normal button is like. That's how long that lasts for. And then with the pulse limiter, really, really short. Now, if I put that on four ticks, it'll last a little longer. But if I put it on one tick, it goes so fast it doesn't register at all. Same with two ticks. If I try. Again, it doesn't register, which is why you need it on three or four ticks. Right, it also makes a lever um, do a uh, pulse, so you can put it on, and it'll pulse, and it's really good. So that's the um, pulse limiter. Uh, these are the ones I use the most, so yeah, they're really good. Next is the RS Nor Latch. Now what this does, it basically alternates current. So what you do, block there, block there, add torches onto the sides and put your repeaters by the torches and make sure they're going into the box. So you get your torches and your repeaters from the torches going into the blocks. Like that. So if I just add some buttons on. Now uh, you'll see that one piston is powered and the other piston is off. Um, Okay, so if I hit the button, you'll see that the power there, it depowers the torch, switches the current around, so that one's off, and this one's on. Now, if I hit that over and over again, it's not going to make any difference, because I need to hit the other one here, for it to change. Now, um, the only reason, the only thing I've used it for, is if I want a player to come around, hit the button, and not be able to change it, so hit it, and then, no matter how many times I hit it again, 
they can't do anything about it. So that's the RS and all that. Next is a clock. Now, uh, what this normally they're like this. So you um, get your redstone, get your torch, power it, and then you. Hang on a sec. Um, yeah. Oh, I see. I've got it. Oh, God, putting repeaters around the wrong way. Redstone catastrophe. Right. So you get your torch, you break it, and then you quickly break and place your redstone to create the pulse. The problem with this is you can't turn it off without breaking the redstone. So this one I found on the internet, um, it's really good. It's a lot slower, but you uses a lever and turns it on or off. So what you do, um, you get your T-shape, um, you break the middle block, redstone under this one which will have a lever on it um, you've got your repeater on three ticks facing into um, the lever block make sure it's on three ticks um, and then you put your torch on that block and away it goes now you just hit the lever to stop it and yeah you'll see that it's fired a couple of hours already um, it is very slow at the moment um, I'll show you again. As you can see, very, very slow. What you can do to speed it up is if you link the torch to the dispenser now, you'll hear it'll fire twice as fast. So it'll fire two arrows instead of one. To make it even faster, you can do this. Um, just link it up to there. And make sure your repeat is on two ticks. So if I hit it again now, it will fire three arrows in the full tick space instead of two. So yeah, it's a lot quicker now. Um, let me just uh, turn it off. Hang on. Not run out of arrows, but um, oh well, you get the point. So yeah, I have to say this is really useful as well. Um, so that's basically all of my uh, redstone components guys um, if you have any questions or if you need any redstone help please leave a comment in the, descri um, in the description uh, please like and subscribe we also do a lot of other videos we do Josh and Ginge vs the world we do a lot of hunger games so uh, yeah check out our other stuff see you guys